did you uh, rate the intensity of that session, Nathan? Um, not too bad, yeah, we, we ran off our preparation and looking forward to, um, you know, showing our ultimate intensity on match day, I suppose. Obviously, it's in, well, that question was in relation to what Jonathan Brown said. What was your view of his comments about your training? Uh, I've heard about it, but, um, oh, look, it's, I suppose everyone's entitled to their opinion, but all that really matters is um, that we, you know, we're really confident with our prep and, you know, we'll be judged on, on our output on weekends. Fresh faces this week, Sam Murray, Jaden Stevenson, either in the mix? Both of them. Were you, in, were you in the announcement just there, were you? No. No, well, so both of those boys will play. Um, you know, Jaden's had a really strong pre-season, had a, had a really um, hit the ground running for us, you know, has shown us a lot of his strengths coming into the, into the program and um, we think that he's um, earned his opportunity. Uh, and Sam Murray coming across from Sydney, um, rookie list there for a couple of years. Uh, just you know, really hit the ground running you know, against the Bulldogs last week. You know, he's got really strong dash off the half-back line and we think he can add something to us. So both of those boys are, will play on Saturday night. I think I'd like our footy to do our talking uh, first and foremost so everyone can uh, have their opinion when they see it. But um, you know, we, we do believe in you know, contested ball and you know, we, we, don't, uh, we think that it's away from our strengths to go away from you know, a grunt style or a contested ball style. Um, you know, we like stoppages, we want, to, we want to hold the ball in the front half and we want to be aggressive enough to impose our game style on the opposition week in, week out. But talking about it's one thing and doing it's another. Do you think footy, what trends do you think might change this year? Obviously the Tigers changed things last year in terms of their forward structure. Mm. What are you predicting this year? Uh, it seemed that there's, you know, most sides were holding sort of six forwards, sort of forward of a stoppage or forward of the ball more often than not. Um, and, and potentially a forward that you know, plays a little bit longer the way that Richmond or, or the Geelong did at periods last year. Um, defensively, I don't think a great deal will shift or change, but uh, the, the winning teams or the most successful teams end up you know, understanding who they are, what their strengths are, and, and going and executing those more often than their opposition. And I think the game's, the game's not going to change in that regard. And we've spent a fair bit of the off-season looking at our strengths, working out you know, where they sit and making sure that we maximise them. So that's what I hope you see. At this stage, it's scored a 23 into Saturday night. So basically anyone, we've got 40 players available fitting up and up and going. So um, you'll see 17 players um, in that pracky match. And, you know, we're, we're in pretty good shape physically to be able to attack the first part of the year. And to have 40 fit players here is a, is a credit to Kev White and his staff to be able to get them Get one, get us fit enough, but two, have us uh, access to so many of our players so early. To be honest, Daniel Wells could, could probably play this week, um, and he'll play he'll play in the VFL. But we don't have him necessarily available for senior selection at this stage um, because he, he just needs to get a little bit, a little bit of a bit more, more training and a bit more match fitness. Um, Jamie Elliott's a couple of weeks away, but no, we're, we're our squad's in really good shape. We're, we're looking forward to attack the year. Yep. Like he's pretty good yeah. No, with his hammy, he's still another one or two away from from playing matches. He's not full training yet, so um, that'll be a wait and see. But he's um, he's back in the fold and um, suitably chastened, and and the leaders uh, were, were satisfied with the way that he attacked that month. So he's back in and um, we'll get him fit as, as soon as we can. What um, what do you want to achieve, Nathan? More broadly this year, I, mean, I don't think we're sort of big statement out there, but what do you want to achieve as a whole? Um, oh, just, we want to play a consistent brand of footy. So it starts for us, well it start, started for us through the JLT, we were disappointed with the way we started against the Giants, but the Bulldogs was more of the brand that we want to put out there and, um, and really that's on us. The opposition can really suit themselves with the way that they want the game played, but it's up to us to impose our, our brand on the opposition and um, that would be the most sweeping statement that you'll get from me. Do you think early wins, these, <laughs> it might seem like an obvious question, do you think early wins, which you haven't had the past few years, ease pressure and can, can breed confidence that you perhaps haven't had the luxury of? Yes. So, I, mean, <laughs> I guess in No, time. we haven't had great starts in the last couple of years, but we can't go back and change that, unfortunately. Um, we can do something about this year, so let's get the Saturday night.